This episode of Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief is brought to you by Right By You Mortgage. Wherever life takes you, we're right by you. Visit rightbyumortgage.com slash podcast to learn more. From WREL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Monday, August 24th, 2020. I'm Cliff Baumgartner. Here's the latest from WREL.com. As many other universities move to online learning, thousands of students at North Carolina Central University start in-person classes today. Classes will be a mix of in-person and online learning. Since most students live on campus, the university will have more control over student activities, and NCCU students told WRL News they're willing to do what it takes to be able to stay on campus. Clusters of COVID-19 cases are popping up on campuses around the Triangle, most recently at NC State and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. It has triggered those universities to move classes online. While students are concerned, many feel NCCU is prepared and will be ready to act accordingly when classes start today. Students will face disciplinary action for risky behavior and for not following health guidelines set up by the university. According to an email sent out to students, those who throw a party or attend one could face a Class 2 misdemeanor. While students are glad steps are in place to cut down on the risk of exposure, some want more protective measures put in place to keep university employees like housekeepers and janitors safe as students return to campus. According to the university's website, as of Wednesday night, there were 13 total known positive COVID-19 cases connected to the campus, five students, seven employees, and a subcontractor. Researchers in Hong Kong are reporting the first confirmed case of reinfection with the coronavirus. In a statement, researchers from the University of Hong Kong said an apparently young and healthy patient had a second case of COVID-19 infection, which was diagnosed four and a half months after the first episode. The report is of concern because it suggests that immunity to the coronavirus may last only a few months in some people, and it has implications for vaccines being developed for the virus. The 33-year-old man had only mild symptoms the first time and no symptoms this time around. The reinfection was discovered when he returned from a trip to Spain, the researchers said, and the virus they sequenced closely matched the strain circulating in Europe in July and August. Given that there are millions of cases worldwide, it is not unexpected that a few or even a few dozen people might be reinfected with the virus after only a few months. Doctors have reported several cases of presumed reinfection in the United States and elsewhere, but none of those cases have been confirmed with rigorous testing. Recovered people are known to shed viral fragments for weeks, which can cause tests to show a positive result in the absence of live virus. But the Hong Kong researchers sequenced the virus from both rounds of infection and found significant differences in the two sets of virus, suggesting that the patient was infected a second time. If you need a COVID-19 test, you may be able to get one for free in Raleigh this weekend. From Thursday to Saturday, the Wake County government will offer free coronavirus tests at the Sunnybrook Building Parking Deck in Raleigh. Details are available on the county's website. The county will hold more free drive through testing next week as well. Before you go, here are a few things you should know. First, resources are limited, so people must register in order to participate. When you go to the testing site, you'll need to bring your registration sheet and a form of identification. You can use a driver's license, voter registration card, a passport, or even a utility bill. Also, the process may not go quickly. Demand for tests is high, so be prepared to wait in a line when you show up to take the test. After you take the test, you will likely have to wait five to seven days to receive your results. If you test positive, someone will call you. If you don't have the virus, you won't receive a call. If you have any questions or need help registering, call 919-856-7044 or email covid19.questions at wakegov.com. This has been your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Monday, August 24th, 2020. If you like the news and information you get from this show, let us know. Leave a rating and review wherever it is you listen. Plus, while you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss our new episodes. Thanks for listening. When it comes to buying a new home, you want to know that you're in good hands. 
At Right By You Mortgage, the dedicated team of lenders live in your community and are committed to being right by you every step of the way. Whether you're a growing family, a relocating professional, or a retiring couple, they'll partner with you to find the right loan to fit your unique home buying needs. Plus, with the Right By You Mortgage on-time closing guarantee, they'll pay you and the seller $500 if you don't close on time. Visit rightbyumortgage.com slash podcast to get started. Wherever life takes you, we're right by you. Go to rightbyumortgage.com slash podcast for full details. Equal housing lender, NMLS number 402136.